Hey, uh, make sure you subscribe. Like, if you watch this and you get any type of value, I mean anything, if you get any nuggets or you get any type of value from watching the guy's journey that's building a startup, please subscribe. Hey, hey, how are you? I have the same issue. I have videos everywhere, pictures everywhere, and I don't even know where to start. For me, I just kind of went along with whatever the club did, which was like fundraising in front of a supermarket. Yo, yo, it's Tuesday, August 20th, 2024, and we have 73 days before we launch the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. It is 8.40 a.m. in the morning. Whew, man, listen. The heat and the humidity in this city is next level. I'm talking about when I'm in my room, sleep under the AC or under the fan, but then when I leave that room, it just hits me, boom, like how hot it is. However, I love it. I love it. Um, today I have a meeting with Amazon AWS, that's Amazon Web Services. I also have my first customer discovery meeting with a mother that is, uh, I think she's a soccer mom, I believe. So I have that meeting, of course, they will be filmed. So uh, it will be in this episode. Um, I got, I got got, I got got. So I'm scrolling Instagram and uh, I run into an ad from this founder, his name is Tyler Dank, he's the founder of Beehive, and the ad says, hey, I wanna give you the pitch deck that I use to raise $2.6 million for free. And by the way, we raised $2.6 million without revenue. My curiosity says, huh, let's check it out. So I'm gonna go over that pitch deck as well today and um, yesterday I talked about comparison. Uh, of course, I don't wanna compare all dreams to Beehive and they're raising $2.6 million without any revenue. Don't wanna do it. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Uh, man, I had a crazy dream last night. I had a crazy dream last night. So, all of this political stuff is going on in the United States and I like to keep a close eye on it, even though I'm not there right now. And, and I had this crazy dream that the country like really got into like a civil war. Like it was bad. Like it was, it wasn't, it was a nightmare. Like it really was, it was a nightmare, man. It was a nightmare. My children was in this dream. My mom was in this dream. I was in this dream. Like, I don't know where, like, I watched a video from, uh, ah, what's his name? Really, really good creator. I can't remember his name, um, but he did, he did a video asking questions from the DNC uh, convention in Chicago. And the people were just so delusional. He's asking them, hey, uh, why do you support Kamala Harris? Or why, you know, why do you support this? And these people, their answers were like, and these are people that actually have families, have, you know, like probably are model citizens in the United States, you know, have jobs and things like that. It was just striking to me how dumb they were. Like seriously, um, man, it's a really, really big concern to me uh, as, being a business owner, I'm not a business owner here. This is my office, you know, uh, in Columbia, but the business that I own is it's the United States company. It's a Delaware C Corp, okay? Uh, there's no way that I would be out talking about raising money in venture capital and VC if uh, All Dreams was not a Delaware C Corp, right? Wouldn't, no, no way that we would be able to be doing the things that you know we're attempting to do. Uh, United States is still the, you know, the best country to build a business and to gain wealth from and earn money from. It is. Uh, 
However, the things that's happening, it's it's really concerning. It's really, really concerning. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and get to work. And uh, man, you guys have a good day. Hey, uh, make sure you subscribe. Like, if you watch this and you get any type of value, I mean anything, if you get any nuggets or you get any type of value from watching a guy's journey that's building a startup, uh, please subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, let's talk. Um, look, I'll say this again before, before, I, before I jet. I know you guys don't understand it. It is fine, it's fine. But please continue to follow the journey because once we launch, I'm going to be showing you everything behind the scenes, our revenue, the things we're doing marketing wise, and actually building this startup. I'm sure I'm, this is going to be daily. So you just get, you know, if you're watching now, just get used to these, you know, a daily dosage of what happens behind the scenes. It won't always be here in this office. Of course, it's going to expand. It's going to get bigger. It's going to be more fun. Uh, it's going to be hectic. It's going to be down. It's going to be up. Come along this journey with me, please. So I'm out and uh, yeah, you guys have a nice day. Journey up until this point, being 44 years old, it's been highs, it's been middle, it's been lows, it's been super, super lows. Um, and the one thing that I have not done Nice to meet you. I'm Hassan. Yes. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Uh, okay, so your son plays soccer. Yeah. And you um, does cheer. I'm sorry? Your daughter does cheer. Yeah, my daughter does cheer, and she was actually just approached to play soccer. So Okay. But he's the he's the main athlete right now. Okay. And how how old is how old is your son your your son? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. And how long has he been playing? Since he was four. Since he was four? Yeah. Wow. Four or five, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. So can you just tell me about that journey of your son playing sports from the start to just the experience of going through that journey? A little, just a little bit about it. I mean, to me, it's probably been, it's been definitely a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. um, I put him in soccer with the idea when, you know, way back when that it was a very soft sport, like, okay, no injuries. It's not that really, it's not that intense. Mm -hmm. um, I tried to put him in baseball, given my background, I'm Cuban. So it was like the right sport, mm -hmm. in okay. my opinion. Yeah. Um, he hated it. And <laughs> so he played flag football and soccer. Okay. And he just stuck with soccer and he's actually quite good. Um, uh -huh. So that's what we've been doing ever since. And the club that he's in right now, we do a lot of travel. Mm -hmm. um, and so he's definitely out there. Okay. But you, you know, I have the same issue. I have videos everywhere, pictures everywhere, and I don't even know where to start. Right. Right. And then as far as like, um, like traveling and things like that, like how do you guys, how do you guys fund? Because I, I just know I have three daughters myself. I just know things are just so expensive. So like how like how do you guys manage the like the travel and all of that? So so for one, you said you have pictures, videos all over the place. Where like so that's one thing, right? So and then as far as like funding all of that, how does that work? So we do do some fundraising within okay. the club, but everything else is just on me right right 
So and, it does get really pricey. Right. And then as far as like him, what's what's his goals? Where he where he ultimately wants to play. yeah, yeah. Where where like does he want to play in college? Just you know. He wants to go to Europe. That is his that is his dream. His, his dream, dream is, is to is play soccer in Europe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then from what your you, your guys' experience as far as playing on these circuits, how would you rate his skill set? I mean, I'm his mom, so obviously I'm gonna say <laughs> he's an amazing player. Right. He's definitely good. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is. Um but I, I mean, I think he's great and other people do as well. So it's not just right. my word. It's, you know, scouts that have looked at him, um, you know, people that are following his journey a little bit. So he's good. I mean, I definitely think he has the potential and ability to do it. It's just a matter of getting there. OK, so so you said people that are following his journey, right? How how I envision the platform to work. Right. It's mm -hmm. a player. This this use your son as as an example. You guys upload all of his journey in one place. It's you're able to synchronize it by the year. So whatever year he started, you may have a video from when he first started. And you can put it under categories as in highlights, training, game film his story so you will be able to synchronize by the year and then all of these different categories okay the people that are following his journey would that be interesting to some of them to be able to go in one place and watch that journey and then also subscribe to help him monetarily but also um encouragement, mentorship, and such in one place where he would, you know, basically have a, had a journey there, build, have that community and be able to earn money. What would that look yeah. like for you guys? I mean, that would be great because right now, for instance, for me, I've had to pay to make highlights for him because I don't have the time to sit and I don't have the time to sift through videos. So I've had to pay someone to do it. Um, do I think people would jump on that? I think so. Right. Um, I mean, it's definitely, it's, I think it's a great idea. It's just a matter of getting the exposure on it. Right. And, and what, and as far as, uh, as far as building community, what are you doing now to 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 do that for for the people that want to follow him? How do they how do how how do they find him and how do they engage with him to follow Instagram? That? Okay, so Instagram. Okay, that's it. Yeah, and I I have to run it because if I wait for him to do it, it'll never get done. Uh, so I'm the one that has to upload. I'm the one that has to like dig through, and then he's got a personal, and I have his sports one. But right. even that can get tedious. It's difficult. Right. And then as far as like, like if you wanted to raise money, would you do like GoFundMe's or like, like I, I haven't done a GoFundMe ever for that. Mm -hmm. Um, I could, but I've never really, it's never really dawned on me. I just kind of went along with whatever the club did, mm -hmm. which was like fundraising in front of a supermarket and getting donations that way. Um, the issue with that is that if there's four kids collecting then and you make $50, those four kids get that 50 broken up in between all of them, yeah. which really doesn't add up to much, but right. it's something, it helps. Right, right. And how, how often does, how often do you guys, do you guys fund, do, would you do fundraising in front of supermarkets? Um, we do that once, well, really we do it when we have large events or large travel coming up. For instance, we went to Spain. So we did it Spain. in the months. Yes. How was that? We played a tournament in Spain. It was absolutely amazing. It was the best experience ever. And right. we hope to go back now in 2025 in April. So that's a big deal. And it's a lot of exposure for them. Mm -hmm. um, but 
we did that, you know, we did fundraising leading up to it so that at least the kids had something there to help because when you're paying for, you know, when a family goes, for instance, it was myself, my child, my son and my daughter, it's three of us. Mm -hmm. So I can get pretty pricey. So total, it was like 10,000 between everything. So it was a lot. Yeah. Was it worth it? I would do it 10 times over, but you know, it does get expensive. How much? How much would you say per year that you spend on athletics for for your kids? I would say, well, Spain was a little bit. That was not something we did years prior, mm-hmm. but I would say easily a couple thousand, a few thousand okay. a year. All right. So I just finished my first customer discovery meeting with a mother that has a 16 year old son that plays soccer, she's in Miami. Almost everything that I thought has been confirmed, but I did not do the customer discovery the correct way because I already had let in by showing her some of the platform and things like that. So uh, as I move forward, I'll move into the exploration of customer service, I mean, the customer discovery process. However, What's confirmed is someone, a parent of an athlete that has so many videos all over the place. Also a son that has talent that people are following and want to support and also a need for them to be able to support the kid in order for him to raise money for his dream. They spent, she spent $10,000 to go to Spain for a trip and she said she would do it again and they are raising money outside of supermarkets in order for these endeavors right um this is going this exploration process is going to be really really cool but i really think we are really on to something this was a great first meeting and i'm excited to talk to so many more people so many more athletes and parents that are serious about um, achieving their dream and using our platform. So meeting one complete.